Hey guys, Iron Eagle is back here again. I know it's been some time since the last, and I'm sorry for that. Real life really kicks in hard. But here I am again, and I would like to show you another little tip um, how you can set up waypoints in the Viper. Okay, so why do we need it? Is the question. So, a lot of times when you're flying a patrol on a cast, for example, it may occur that a JTAC is calling in some air support. And um, to do so, in the Viper, we are utilizing uh, navigational um, coordinates in lat long format. So, to do so, we need some lat long information like a northing and an easting or a northing and a west coordinate. And um, we're going to enter this and uh, going to proceed to that target area then. So without further ado, let's uh, hop into the office and get this thing started. Okay guys, so here we are in the office of the Viper. And uh, first off, let's come down here on our right MFD and take a closer look. All right, so try to picture and imagine that these two waypoints are sort of our um, patrol area. And all of a sudden, we are going to get a new coordinate from a JTAG, for example, and uh, he's requesting some close air support. All right, so let's say you got some uh, lat and long information from uh, the JTAG and you need to enter that. So the thing is, you can of course alter one of your current steer points, but the thing is, you might wanna come back and return to that um, predefined um, route. Okay, so how do we do that? It's kind of pretty easy. So the only thing you really need to keep in mind is utilize a waypoint or in that case a steer point that is not used. Okay. So we got waypoint 1, waypoint 2, and obviously waypoint 3, which is probably base. Okay. On our ICP, we are going to click on STPT, which stands for steer point, and you can see that we're switching over to the steer point options. So the dauber is going to be very important here. Now let's dauber, um, dauber down, for example, or dauber up, and you can see you can go through the different settings. All right. No, oh, recall that. All right. So first of all, I would like to go to a new steer point that is not utilized. In that case, it's going to be waypoint four. And you see there is absolutely no um, lead long information. So what I've got here is uh, a new waypoint, which is double down, northing, north. So you see the little N. It's going to display the N first. Three, two. And we got five zero eight one eight all right enter and then go down to the easting and you can see this is a three digit um enter so even if we get an easting of 35 it's a easting of um zero 35 so we're going for six for easting zero three five four eight seven one six for that coordinate enter and then let's go down to the altitude which is set on 1400 feet and enter and as you can clearly see now on our right mfd there is a new waypoint and this is going to be our new target area okay so let's double down double out here with return and we are set on waypoint four and the only thing we need to make sure is let's go to air to ground for example get two gbus Let's go to CCRP mode and down here in the test, I'm going to select my TGP and on the right, we're going to go back to our HST. Okay. And we make our left MFD soy and hit once undesignate. And there we are. So the only thing we really need to do right now is approach the target area and take a closer look on what we're going to attack. Okay. 
let's take a closer look on that target. Okay, so as it looks like, we have a tank. So I'm gonna go into a point track on that guy. Here we go. Yep, point track. And make sure that the laser arm is set and on. That's working. And weapon away. Coming off to the left. Since the targeting pot is on our right. Lazing. About 20, 30 degrees off to the right, off to the left. And then going into the turn. And shack. There was one tank down. Okay, so that is it basically. How you can utilize um, new steer points or altering new steer points and uh, entering, let's say, JTAG information for a CAS. That's how you do it. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, I hope that freshed up some of your stuff or your memory, or maybe that was something completely new to someone of you, that would be totally fine. And as always, um, leave a like, comment down below that uh, video. I'm uh, really happy to answer your, all your questions as good as I can. And of course, um, subscribe to the channel. Help me to grow. Help me to make this all um, better for you guys. All right, I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye bye.